Hey Russell fam, in today's video I'm going to talk about science curriculums that I have used in the past and the ones I'm using now. Be back in just a second. Hi, my name is Becky and welcome to our Russell's Loving Life YouTube channel. Here on this channel we talk about homeschooling, homemaking, and everything in between. If you are new, please consider subscribing and clicking that little bell notification down at the bottom if that's the kind of content you are interested in. And we also have a blog, which is russellslovinglife.com. There, I give you homeschooling tips and tricks that I have learned through my years of homeschooling. And if you are a returning Russell fam, we are so glad you are back. In today's video, I'm going to talk about three different science, science curriculums that I have used through the years. So the first one I'm going to start with is we are going to talk about um, science in the beginning. We use this for Bailey's fourth grade, and I have a ton of YouTube videos doing the science experiments from this book. So I will leave that up there in the iCard. And um, we did last year, we used Apologia Astronomy which we loved and this year we are doing apologia exploring botany now i'm gonna turn the camera around and give you a flip through of these curriculums the first science curriculum we're going to talk about is science in the beginning and i used this with bailey when he was in fourth grade and becca was in pre-k and she did the science experiments with us so she understood some of it some of it she didn't but make sure to check out all of our science experiments videos. I will leave them in the I card so you can see those and they came from this book. So let's do the flip through. So you flip over to the table of contents and sorry about the glare, but it tells you on the first day, your first 15 lessons comes from the first day of creation. Then lessons 16 through 30 come from the second day of creation. Lessons 35, 31 through 45 go through the third day. Lessons 46 to 60 go through the fourth. Lessons, sorry, trying to, lesson 61 to 75 is the fifth day. And lesson 67 through 90 is the sixth day. And then it talks about the seventh day down here. It has a glossary and an index, which are amazing. So I love, love the bright colors. So when you first turn it over, it talks about the first day of creation. I love, love this. And here it's talking about lesson one, let there be light. And then it talks about everything you will need. And you're talking about reflecting light, what you should do. And it tells you step by step, on how to do these experiments. And then once you do the experiments, it gives you questions to ask, and then it tells you the answers so you can walk through this with your children. And see, it says for the youngest children, when you do your lesson review, to answer these questions. And for the older, and then the oldest, so this is designed for all age groups. Like I said, I used it with Becca when we were in pre-K and she understood the gist of it. She might not have understood all the big words and things like that, but she had fun participating in it. And so, you know, here's the uh, older kid and then the oldest. So this is perfect for all, I would say middle, elementary to middle school, those type. And then here we are on the lesson two we're talking about the colors and creation, and then what you need, what you do, and then you discuss it. And it goes like that through the entire book. Here's lesson five, talking about sunlight, what you need, all of that. So this is perfect for a family, if you wanted to do a family unit study for science, um, I'm just kind of flipping through to get to the back. Here is your glossary. So if there are words that you're reading that the kids aren't understanding, you can have them look up the definitions. Um, you can use this as spelling words. You can have them uh, 
use them as definitions as well, make flashcards, however you want to do it. But this is awesome um, for them to learn spelling words and definitions to go along with their science. So I had to show you that part. And then, then you index back here, you know, so if you want to see if there's any other pages that go along with things that you're reading, um, you know, like air, air's talked about in all of these pages. So that is the curriculum we used in fourth grade. So the one we used in fifth was Apologia Astronomy. And this is the instructional support. And then it gets in the into the table of contents with the lessons. It just gives you, you know, what is astronomy? Lesson two is talking about the sun. Lesson three is Mercury. Lesson four is Venus. Lesson five is Earth. Lesson six is the moon. Lesson seven is Mars. Lesson eight is space rocks. Lesson nine is Jupiter. Lesson 10 is Saturn. Lesson 11 is Uranus. Lesson 12 is Neptune. Lesson 13 is talking about the dwarf planets. 14 is talking about the stars, the galaxy, space travel. And so, I mean, it covers a wide variety of things. And in each lesson, I'll flip back over here to lesson one so I can show you here. Gives you a welcome, but then it's talking about the night sky and interesting things like that. So let's go to lesson one. Here is lesson one. What is astronomy? And then here is your welcome, your introduction. It talks about what is astronomy. An astronomer. And then the night sky and the stars and the planets. And that's lesson one. And it just kind of keeps going. And you don't have to cover all of lesson one in the same day. Um, you can just cover sections of it if you think that it's too much. Um, we didn't. When we were using the My Father's World curriculum, we did different um, pages on different days like we talked about. Um, here was gravity. So we would do a gravity um, here and then we would talk about and then do the activities that are with them sorry about that kids are coming in and out and see we're still on lesson one and we're switching over to astronomers and astronauts and to me putting all of this in one day would be way too much for the kids to comprehend um, but it is up to you with your children and their learning styles but you see there's activities it tells you what you need to do the activities, what you will do, and just helps you explain it from there. And it gives you pictures and just fun little things. So and then you move to lesson two, which talks about the sun. But this is what we used for fifth grade science with Bailey last year. Becca did it with us. Um, she didn't understand as much in this one as she did in the last one, but uh, this was always a good one. So we use this one for fifth grade. And for sixth grade science, we are using Apologia Botany. And I love this. I know I say about that about all of them, but I do. But I love that it gives you a list right here. For every lesson, it tells you what you are going to need for those lessons. So you can look ahead and plan ahead and if you have it, if you don't, those type things. But I love that it tells you specifically what you are going to need. And then over here, when we get into lessons about botany, lesson one is botany, lesson two is seeds, lesson three is flowers, lesson four is pollination, Five is fruit, six is leaves, seven is roots, eight is stems, nine is trees. Okay, lesson one is kind of like I showed you when we were talking about astronomy. There's a whole lot of information that I think it was 17 pages is lesson one. 
and so you can break it down. You don't have to do the entire lesson that day, but then you get to the end of the lesson in the back and it talks about projects. And here it shows you that you're gonna make a light hut and it tells you everything you will need for those supplies and gives you pictures to show you how to do it. And then here's some more on that project. And then you get over here to growing plants and it tells you what you're going to need and step by step on how to do it. And then the third project is making soap and it tells you the supplies and the step by step. And then you get over here to lesson two. So we are using botany this year. We really haven't gotten into it yet, but I love the format. I love the layout of um, the way Apologia does their science curriculums. I hope this video has helped you to find some science curriculums that you might like to use in your house. Um, they work well for us and that's why I do these videos. That's why I have this YouTube channel because I know as a new homeschooling mom, I was having trouble finding curriculums and I just started picking the brains of all of my other homeschool moms and they guided me through this. They said this worked for them, this didn't work for them. and. Just remember, what works well for my family may not work well for yours, but it gives you a place to look at it, to understand how the curriculum goes, and if that goes with your children's learning styles, then try it out. And if you get it and it does not work, then stop, because you do not want to be miserable, you don't want your kids to be miserable, and it's just going to turn into a battle. So never feel guilty if a curriculum is not working and you want to change it in the middle of the year because as a homeschooling mama, we all do it. So as always, remember to be kind, be careful, be considerate, and have a great day. Bye.